Good morning and a very happy Wednesday to you. So big difference just stepping outside this morning than what we saw yesterday and even some mornings before that. Uh, it kind of a reversal here. So yesterday we were seeing most spots in the 50s Chattanooga hanging on to the 60s. This morning while that milder air is in place, most spots are in the 60s and just those 50s off to the east. 57 in Murphy right now, 58 in Blue Ridge. If you're in Chattanooga, it's a mild 68 degrees. The same could even be said in Athens, 63 in Cleveland right now, 64 in Dalton. Uh, no really wind at this time, um, and so our temperatures, with the fact that we have a little bit of cloud cover over our area and humidity has been on the rise, that's why it's certainly milder outside. So when we look at our dew points right now, it's a combination of those dew points in the 50s and 60s. Anytime your temperature is matching the dew point, those are some spots where you could have some fog and mist that are ongoing this morning, but certainly I think you're going to notice it's not quite as refreshing outside this morning as what it was yesterday and over the past couple of days. So when we look at our muggy meter, we're back up kind of to that borderline area between that comfortable and humid category. And we're pretty much going to flirt with that for the entire week ahead. I think that tomorrow and Friday will be a little bit more humid. We're still not talking about being way up in that very muggy category like we'll see in times for July and August especially, uh, but certainly feeling a little bit more like that summertime for the last day of May and as we're heading into that first week of June. Now, what about any kind of rain chances? Well, when you had that greater moisture content in the air and plus we're pairing it with those highs in the 80s now instead of 70s, that could lead to a few of those pop up storms for the afternoon afternoon and evening hours really happening with the heating of the day and we'll experience that today, Thursday and Friday. Those chances at 30%. Now as we look ahead to the weekend, not quite as much activity and even into next week. So just a few spotty showers here and there. So certainly for Riverbend, I think that the warmth is more of a story than the storm potential. But yes, technically Friday, Saturday and Sunday will at least have a little bit of a chance of rainfall. And speaking of rain, we have a couple of stray sprinkles this morning. You can see a little bit more activity just to the outside of our area. But as I zoom in, closer. There's one little sprinkle that developed in Monroe County. That one already looks like it's faded out. And then we have this one right here that's moving through Meigs County and right over the Tennessee River this time. So for the great majority of the area, roads are dry this morning, but in a couple of spots you may run into a few sprinkles. For clouds, that's where we see that densest cloud cover right now. It's kind of that northeastern quadrant of our viewing area. The rest of the region is that partly cloudy sky. So just a few breaks in the clouds here and there. Uh, but overall, not too much going on even regionally really dense clouds well to the south of us closer to the Florida area. So as we run through the day today with future cast, by the time we're at 10 a.m. it's partly sunny. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s to low 70s across the area. Let me take you to the afternoon hours because that's where we're going to start to see those storms popping up. Now you may have a little bit of activity by about one o'clock, but mainly it'll be like what we saw yesterday, seeing most of that developing once we get past about 2 p.m. Notice these temperatures, a lot of spots at that point, upper 70s to low 80s. I think generally highs ranging today from about 80 to 85. Now, anytime you get dropped with a little bit of rainfall, though, your temps will be dropping down because of that rain cooled air. Here's 5 p.m. Let's keep you through the evening time by 9 o'clock. Notice you don't see those brighter colors anymore, so that rain potential is kind of fading out through the overnight hours. And then once again, quiet in the morning time, starting the day tomorrow in the 60s as we look ahead to the afternoon. Here come some of those scattered storms for your Thursday. High temperatures tomorrow really pretty similar to today, so most spots reaching that 80 to 85 degree mark and then quiet overnight. Friday, we do it again in the 60s for Friday morning, partly sunny skies, and then here come those scattered storms for your Friday afternoon. Notice this is about 2 p.m. on Friday afternoon, already 86 degrees in Chattanooga, so Friday will be a little bit warmer, reaching the upper 80s for many locations. When we look at Futurecast rainfall for the day today, you can kind of see how hit or miss that nature is. So again, a lot of locations are going to be staying dry. It's certainly not a washout, um, but just kind of keep in mind if you run into one of those storms. If you're working outside and you hear thunder, go ahead and come indoors. We want everybody to stay safe, but highs today, tomorrow from 80 to 85. And then again, it's going to be the weekend that we're watching the upper 80s to 90 degrees.